I was on Thingiverse the other day when I discovered this 3D printable flatbed trailer for 24 scale crawlers. So I decided that looked pretty cool and uh, I went ahead and printed one for myself. After printing out all the pieces and parts on my Ender 3 V2 3D printer, I had to order some hardware off of Amazon. I got just a regular M2 uh, screw kit as well as some M2 threaded rod. So after about 15 hours of print time and $20 in hardware, I had all the things necessary to build myself a trailer. For the tires, I'm just using the stock SCX24 Jeep Wrangler tires that we had laying around after we upgraded Grant's. The main flatbed portion did have a bit of warping, but luckily you won't really be able to see that unless you're looking on the underside of the trailer. The tongue portion just slots into these little grooves that are all pre-designed, and then you just insert four screws to secure everything. The next step is securing the fenders. The designer left uh, seven holes for screws, but I put three of them in and that seems plenty sturdy. The next step is installing the kind of axle carrier assembly. Um, the inner portions of these are going to require a bit of sanding um, just to get everything to roll smoothly. So that'll take a little bit of time and uh, just get that all smoothed out. Then they just bolt right onto the underside of the trailer with 16 screws total. Then I cut the threaded rod down to length and split it through the axle carrier. Then it was just a matter of sliding the tires on and locking them down with some nuts. Now that the trailer was complete, I needed a way to tow the trailer. So I took some measurements and then hopped on Tinkercad to design a hitch to fit on my FMS blazer. And to my surprise and excitement, it actually fit very first try, um, so I was pretty happy with that success. If you've been looking for a trailer hitch for your FMS FCX24 Blazer, I have the uh, design files posted on principles if you have a 3D printer and want to print them off. Or if you don't have a printer and want to buy one, I have one for sale on eBay. So check the links in the description for where you can get one. Alrighty, the trailer is complete. Thing does look pretty nice, I'm really happy with that. Also really happy that my hitch worked out exactly how I wanted it to. I may need to design some little ramps so we get the full realistic effect, but uh, pretty happy with it for now. Unfortunately, my uh, power wagon with the big mud bogging tires on was just a bit too wide to fit on the trailer. So later I went back and reprinted the uh, flatbed portion and scaled, scaled the width up a bit. And now everything fits just perfectly. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next time.